show, Manny Mont. The reigning Miss Teen USA, Shauna Gamble. And a special musical guest, all for one. Miss Teen USA 1995. We have their preliminary scores and some personal info about who they are. Let's roll the parade of states with the ladies from the South. First off, South Carolina. I think it's very possible for women to have it all. So many women are doing it today, and I hope I'm going to do it in about 10 years. North Carolina. I think there's a lot more pressure on teens today than there were on my parents when they were growing up. West Virginia. I want to be a professional singer where everybody's looking up at me and I'm in the spotlight for once. That'd be, that'd be great. Alabama. I think today's teenagers have a lot of individuality and I'm very proud of my generation for that. Kentucky. I'm from Virgin, Kentucky. Population, maybe 400. So I can't tell you what it's like to be here tonight. It's really exciting. Maryland. The person I would most like to meet is David Letterman. He's a real hoot, but a character. Arkansas. Two of my dream is to one day see my name in lights on Broadway. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> Oklahoma. I think I began to grow up when I realized that I didn't know everything and my parents really did. <laughs> Georgia. And the craziest thing I've ever done would probably be riding a pig bareback. <laughs> Tennessee. My most prized possession are my adoption papers without a doubt. Virginia. I love motorcycles, speedboats, anything that goes fast, especially roller coasters. Definitely. Florida. I've always wanted to be an astronaut. I want to be the first lady to walk on the moon, and I think that would be totally awesome. Louisiana. A lot of people told me I was just too short to be in pageants, and that made me angry, so I decided to do it anyway, and now I'm here. And Mississippi. A lot of people ask me if I compete with other girls, but it's not, an, it's not competing with other girls. It's competing with myself, and every time I'm in a pageant, I learn something new about myself. Now we're going to get to know the delegates from the Southwest, like Arizona. I'm very outspoken. If you don't want to hear it, don't ask me, because I'll tell you how it is. Hawaii. Hi, um, my friend and I get a concert, and we're really excited. We'll say, Chahoo! Texas. I've always loved the 50s. I'm a total 50s fanatic. I love the clothes, I love the cars. I'm a big Elvis fan, and I love collecting Elvis stuff. Nevada. I have, um... Two parakeets, three doves, two dogs, a lizard, a fish, and what else do I have? Three cats. <laughs> New Mexico. Right before my state pageant, I have purple hair. And then, like last year, I had a buzz. I buzz cut my hair. <laughs> and Utah. I'm the second to the youngest of ten kids. I've got four older, three older brothers, and I've been beat up my whole life, so I'm pretty tough. Colorado. I have a goal to travel to all seven continents by the time I'm 21, and I've already traveled to four. California. I definitely feel that swimsuit should be a part of the pageant because it shows whether or not a girl cares about her body and her own physical health. Let's hear it now for the contestants from the Northeast. Here's Pennsylvania. I really want to be one of the youngest people to graduate in the state of Pennsylvania. New Hampshire. I think that if you're going to do something, you should do it right instead of not doing it right. I think you should just give it your all. New Jersey. What it means is to tell me, or henshaw is the whole what a mama just a jaw is in my junk worry. Now do you believe that I speak Chinese? Connecticut. I do like pageants, but I have a friend who told me he'd teach me how to rebuild an engine, and I'm really looking forward to doing that. Rhode Island. I'd describe myself as being very ambitious, uh, very strong-willed, and very secure. The District of Columbia. This year's been a very good year for me because I won the Miss DC Team Pageant after three tries, and I made things list with a 3.6. Massachusetts. I would say I'm a pretty typical teenager. I'm very happy. I love to go dancing. I love to dance. New York. I want to be a Christian singer. I already sent a tape to Nashville, and I hope I'm on my way. <laughs> Vermont. I think one thing my family teaches us a lot is um, a strong work ethic. I've had a job since I was 13, and that's something they believe in strongly. And Maine. Yeah, I promised all my friends I'd tell them hello and or send them a sign. So, hey guys, I miss y'all. I wish you could be here. 
Here's Delaware. I think it's very difficult to be a teenager today. There's so many problems out there that weren't there even, even five or ten years ago. Now, here come the candidates from the Northwest. Washington. I don't think I'll ever be a grown-up. I can't be a grown-up. I'm too much of a child at heart. I think I'll always be that way. Montana. I drive a 1972 green Volvo, missing both mufflers. <laughs> Wyoming. For fun, I like to go up to the mountains and go four-wheeling, fishing. In the winter, I like to snowmobile. Just, I'm real outdoorsy. And Alaska. I don't really care about winning as much as, as in, it's just coming here and meeting all the girls and just having a good time. Idaho. I am so superstitious. I hang out with baseball players, and so tonight I'll be wearing two Chinese fortunes and a four-leaf clover on my shoe. Oregon. My career ambition is to become an actress, and I'm talking movies, and um, my, my career dream is to star in my own action film and be, be the star. I want to be the heroine. <laughs> now give it up for the delegates from the Midwest. Here's Illinois. I was such an ugly kid that even up until about sixth grade, people used to think I was a boy. Minnesota. The reason that I'm so active and worth waiting for is because I feel it's very important to speak out about teenage sexual abstinence before marriage. Ohio. I want to be like a singer and I want to be an anchor woman. So I thought maybe I could maybe combine the two and like sing, it's sunny. <laughs> Nebraska. I'm named Marlo because my parents loved that old show, That Girl, and I was named after Marlo Thomas. Michigan. I knew I was growing up when my dad let me leave the porch with a guy. <laughs> he said he was going to keep me chained to the porch until I was 24, but that didn't work. South Dakota. My two favorite hobbies are sewing and showing cattle, and I did make this outfit. And North Dakota. My sister Juliet was Miss North Dakota to USA in 1992, and as I sat in the audience watching her, I knew I wanted to be here today. Indiana. Most teenagers would think that my parents are a teenager's worst nightmare. My dad's my orthodontist and my mom's my piano teacher, but they're really cool. Wisconsin. I love being a twin, and this fall my twin brother and I were homecoming king and queen, which was one time when we both got to win a competition. Iowa. I thought about getting a tattoo on my belly button, but I decided against it because my parents would kill me. Missouri. I am not a morning person. <laughs> I can sleep all day long and stay up all night and get all my energy at night. And Kansas. The best part of being Miss Kansas teen is that it's right here in my home state and I can tell all of you, welcome to my home. There they are, 51 of the most sensational young women in the USA. And we'll reveal the 12 semifinalists and begin our live competition for the title of Miss Teen USA 1995 right after this. Ladies and gentlemen, your host of the 1995 Miss Teen USA pageant, Bob Dolan. Thank you very much. Whoa, welcome to the party. We are having a party. This is our club, and we're glad you're here. The 13th annual Miss Teen USA pageant. How about that? Woo! 13 years old. We're officially a teenager now, and we are partying in Kansas's largest city. Hello, Wichita. Thanks for having us. I tell you what, this is a great place for a summer celebration, and that's what we're doing here tonight. We are celebrating the young women of the USA with delegates from every state and Washington, D.C. And I tell you, even I can't keep up with 51 brainy, energetic teenagers all by myself all night. So please welcome my co-host from the Mike and Maddie Show, Maddie Monfort. Maddie! Doing great. All right. Doing great. Good what to a see great you again. Night tonight, Ooh, huh? They are fired up tonight. That's great. 
You know, I, it's really great to see you again because I've been on your show before. Yes. And that was a lot of fun. So we've worked together. We sure yeah. have. We have had a lot of fun. You know, and I was so excited about doing this that every good Cuban girl has to bring her mom along. She's even here. She's Mom's in the audience here? somewhere. Where's mom? Where is mama? You there she mom? is. <laughs> oh, Hola, there's mommy. mom. Hi. <laughs> no, that's great. Now I'm going to get a phone call from my mother. Thanks a lot, Maddie. This is really your first big primetime network pageant, right? It sure is, Bob. But, but it is not your first pageant, as I know. Yes, under this clever disguise, I'm actually Ralph Edwards and Matty Monfort. This is your life, oh, your pageant well, I'm life. I'm going to get you for this, yeah, Bob. Take a look at this footage. Look at this. Here's Maddie in Florida, 1985. Hey, my name is Maria Monfort from Miami. Yeah, Maria. What's the Maria about? Well, Maria is my real name, and then when I got into television, I changed it to Maddie because I thought it was just more fun, you know? Yeah, it's friendlier. Yeah. 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 Did you win? Bob, they didn't even know I was there. <laughs> nothing happened, but, but I'm here. Yeah, you know, absolutely. I'm here hosting could this, and I'm excited. Ever, could you ever dream that you'd be hosting one of these No, suckers? this is a really, really big deal, and I don't yeah. even know if I'm more nervous about about being the host, or was I more nervous when I was, you know, when I was a contestant? Hey, believe me, this is the most nerve-wracking thing you're going to do because you're going to be running all over the theater tonight. I am. I should have put up on my sneakers, but on. I have yeah. heels on. Yeah. Oh, by the way, to let everybody know that we're completely cool here, we want you to know that we have coming up the hot group mm -hmm. All for One. Yes. They're going to be performing. They don't get hot or not. guys as yeah. well. Yeah, they're cool guys. Okay, you ready to roll? I'm your reporter on Let's the run. Okay. I will be out of here. Take off. See ya. Maddie Monfort, everybody. Okay, 51 young women up here are dying of suspense, so let's get on with it. You saw each delegate's preliminary score during the Parade of States. Now it's time to reveal the 12 candidates with the top scores who will continue in tonight's competition. I have the names here. I'll read them in random order. The first semifinalist for the title of Miss Teen USA 1995 is Miss Illinois, Anne-Marie Dixon. Anne-Marie won the preliminary interview competition, so we can expect some lively conversation out of her tonight. Miss California, Kelly Foster Moore. The reigning Miss Teen USA is from California, and no state has ever won back-to-back -back titles, so the pressure will really be on Kelly tonight. Miss Kentucky, Brittany Johnson. Brittany's wearing a lucky penny in her shoe that she found the day she won her state competition. Stay tuned and see if luck strikes twice. Miss Missouri, Melana Scantlin. Melana has done over 50 national and local commercials, so she should be right at home in front of the camera. Miss Iowa, Chelsea Ridge. Chelsea is one of the youngest girls here, but I'm telling you, she can light up the stage like nobody else. Miss Kansas, Keely Sue Sanders. Whoa, listen to this Kansas crowd go wild for their own Keely Sue Sanders. If being a hometown favorite helps, she could do very, very well tonight. All right, that's half of our 12 semifinalists. The next spot belongs to Miss Florida, Karina Clark. She's been modeling since the age of eight and has won nearly $50,000 from pageants already. So expect Karina to do very well tonight. Miss Maine, Katie Asselton. Katie won the preliminary swimsuit competition. She's got such great girl next door looks. She's bound to steal a few hearts tonight. Four spots remaining. One of them belongs to Miss Delaware, Don Renee Huey. Dawn makes a little history as she becomes the first girl from Delaware to ever make the semifinals. And let's give another one to Miss Minnesota, Michelle Moore. Michelle's used to being on stage. She's been a dancer since she was two. And how well you move on stage really counts in pageants. Miss Tennessee, Lynette Cole. Lynette's father is in the audience tonight, and she's wearing his lucky tie, the same one he wore when Lynette won her state title. Only one spot remains, one final chance for one of these young women to become Miss Teen USA 1995, and that woman is Miss Utah, Lonnie Sorted. Lonnie comes from a musical family. She's performed since she was five. So here again, we have another lady used to the stage. I'm telling you, I am so glad I am not a judge tonight. 
There they are, the 12 semifinalists for the title of Miss Team USA 1995. How about that for a sensational group? Now don't go away because the semifinals begin with the Jensen Swimsuit Competition when we come back. All right, we are back live from Wichita, ready to begin tonight's competition. Now, of course, competition means scores, scores mean judges, and let's meet them, shall we? If you would, please hold your applause until all the judges have been introduced. Maddie, tell us about them. Absolutely, Bob. Our first judge stars on Just Kidding, the number one show in her native country of Australia, and is known to U.S. viewers as a former correspondent on the entertainment news show, Extra. She's Sophie Formica. He has appeared on TV and films such as Billionaire Boys Club and Risky Business and will soon be seen in Independence Day and starring in the animated film Babes in Toyland, actor Raphael Sparge. At 23, she's one of the youngest agents in Hollywood, representing a stable of top TV writers at Innovative Artists, Inc., Lisa Santos. He has dozens of credits in theater, film, and TV, including Murphy Brown, and this year starred in the series Pigsty and Under Suspicion, actor Brian McNamara. She starred as Sarah Horton on TV's Days of Our Lives and is now pursuing a college degree in business. She's our very own Miss Teen USA 1986, Allison Brown Young. He hosts Nickelodeon's show Bing and is a regular on their Roundhouse series and has guest starred on MTV and Beverly Hills 90210, actor David Sidoni. She co-starred in TV's Models, Inc. and was featured in such hits as The Dottie West Story, Murder, She Wrote, and Christy, actress Lisa Aiki. TV viewers know him as Jimmy Trevette on Walker, Texas Ranger, and he's proud to be the national spokesman for the Cowboys for Kids Celebrity Rodeo, actor Clarence Gilliard. She co-anchors TV's only live daily entertainment news, CNN's Showbiz Today, which is seen worldwide in over 200 countries, Lauren Sidney. He's the National Hockey League's leading point scorer over the last five years combined. Whoa, Boston Bruins All-Star, Adam Oates. Ladies and gentlemen, our judges. So, you want to know how they're going to choose the winner? The judges will enter scores. Come over here. Excuse me, Adam. They're going to enter scores ranging from 1.0 to 9.99 into their computer terminal. You'll see those on your screen. Then the computer eliminates the highest score and the lowest score and averages in the rest. At the end of the semifinals, each delegate scores for the swimsuit, interview, and evening gown competition are added together. And the top six composite scores determine the six finalists. Okay, we've met the judges. We know how the scores work. Let's get down to business with Bob. Okay, Maddie, thanks a lot. It's time now for the first event that will help narrow the field to six delegates. This is the swimsuit competition. And to set the scene, our contestants are here to remind you of one of really the guiding principles of teenagers everywhere. Girls just want to have fun. Just want to have fun now. Now let's focus on fitness with our 12 semifinalists in the Jansen Swimsuit Competition. They'll be wearing shoes from Payless Shoe Source as they model. And let's start with Miss Illinois, Anne Marie Dixon. Growing up, we moved around a lot, and I feel that that has made me who I am today, and I feel that I can make a friend anywhere. Miss California, Kelly Foster Moore. I think I enjoy school, so it's easy for me to focus and stay on top of things and therefore get good grades. Miss 
Kentucky, Brittany Johnson. Well, no, no, actually, see, my parents really never set a curfew, but it's like I know what time to be home. Miss Missouri, Melina Scatlin. where I had to eat pineapple and hula hoop at the same time to dorky music. So pageants were pretty easy. Miss Iowa, Chelsea Ridge. I guess you could call me a jock when it comes to that. I'm not really into the whole cheerleading and pom-pom outlook, but I really do like team sports. Miss Kansas, Keely Sue Sanders. Marina Clark. Well, the last couple of years of high school, I didn't go to school. My parents brought in a tutor, and for many kids, that wouldn't work for them, but for me, it worked great. Um, I think being a teenage today is a lot harder than it looks. I mean, we're making decisions that are going to affect us for the rest of our lives. Miss Delaware, Don Renee Huey. I adore being in public. That's people's number one fear in the world more than dying, but I adore it. Michelle Borg. I never can lie, no matter how hard I try, even to my, even to people that don't even know me. you they look at the clothes so you really have to kind of show out and kind of get them to really notice you and miss utah lonnie sorted I'm on 
on stage, it feels like the whole world is mine. I can be anything or anybody. How about that? Is that a stage full of confidence or what? <laughs> I say so. Claudia, Naomi, Cindy, watch out. These girls will give you a run for your money. We'll have all those scores and tell you who won this swimsuit competition when we return. And but while the semifinalists are changing for the interview competition, we'd like to send you on an action-packed tour with our delegates and the reigning Miss Teen USA, Shauna Gamble, as they check out Wichita and some of the cool $150,000 in gifts and cash that tonight's winner will take home. Get it going, girls! and I'm Shauna Gamble. This is a town with a wild west past and a high-tech future. And my 51 friends and I are going on a fun, magical adventure to check it out. So come on! <laughs> Wichita is celebrating its 125th anniversary. And this is Old Town, the historic red brick district. Now some of the buildings you see here are at least 100 years old. But thanks to Wichita's downtown revitalization, there are cool things going on here. Notice as organizers everyone's toting? The new Miss Teen USA is going to win $2,000 from Caboodles, plus these hot Caboodles cosmetic organizers in bright colors. Great styling and lots of space make it easy to get organized. Caboodles, put your life into it. Cool things are going on here, but we're going to take a break and enjoy some of Wichita's fine dining. Oh, check it out! Here's an important part of life around here in Wichita, the Arkansas River. Site of the annual River Festival, which takes place every May. What a blast. We all cut rehearsal so that we could get up close and personal with the Arkansas River. Ah! Want to look good while you're cruising on the water? Jansen is the official swimwear of the Miss Teen USA pageant and proudly awards the new Miss Teen USA $10,000 plus an exciting collection of electric beach swimwear and sportswear. All from Jansen, whose clean water campaign is dedicated to keeping America's beaches beautiful. And for a really wet and wild adventure in Wichita, there's Barnacleville's Fantasy Water Slide. Are you guys ready to go on Bonsai Bomber? Yeah. All right. What a great time we're having at the water park. And don't forget to dodge those rays out there. Hawaiian Tropics Sun Care Products awards Miss Teen USA a one-week trip to Hawaii for two. Hawaiian Tropic world-class sun protection, available in over 85 countries around the world. Aloha from Hawaiian Tropic. Oh, <laughs> like to gnash on these little white things? There's lots of golf in Wichita. And one of the most beautiful courses is right here at Teradyne Country Club. The delegates are being hosted by the airport Hilton, but somehow the delegates seem to multiply when they get into these rooms. Hey, too much fun. And time for some pampering. St. Ives Swiss Formula, the official skincare sponsor, awards Miss Teen USA $5,000 plus the supply of St. Ives Swiss Formula apricot scrub. For gentle cleansing and a healthy, radiant complexion, it's St. Ives Swiss Formula Apricot Scrub, naturally. Wow, look at that! Beautiful! And nature is the main attraction at the Sedgwick County Zoo. Hey girls, what do you think of Cindy and Stephanie? Well, And naturally, the party's still going on, so come back and join us later. <laughs> Thank you, Shauna. Why didn't you take me along? You know, we're going to see you a little bit later, but when we come back, we're going to get real personal with our contestants in the interview competition, so don't go away. Five Miss Teen USA pageant will continue. Here again is Maddie Monster. There's no place like home. There's no place like Wichita, 
Kansas. We are back live, and while we're getting set for the interviews, here's a scoop on some of the other competition that's been going on behind the scenes here. Press photographers covering the pageant select Miss Photogenic, and this year the $1,000 award in Miss Teen USA trophy went to the beautiful Miss Tennessee, Lynette Cole. Salon Selectives presented the Teen with Style Award to the girl who best expressed her personal style in wardrobe, hair, and grooming. The $1,000 award and trophy goes to Miss Indiana, Sarah McClary. The Miss Congeniality Award has special meaning because the delegates themselves choose the winner. This year, the $1,000 award and Miss Teen USA trophy went to Miss Oklahoma, Shelley Forrest. Congratulations to all the winners. Okay, we're ready for the next semifinal competition. Let's see what is really on the girls' minds. Here's Bob in the interview zone. <laughs> All right. You know, we've been getting to know these young women at the pageant for the past couple of weeks, and now we want to give our judges and, of course, you folks here in the audience and at home that same opportunity. Now, these interviews are unrehearsed. They're completely spontaneous. Believe me, they have no idea what I'm going to ask them, and I have no idea what they're going to say. So stand by for anything. Let's begin with Miss Illinois, Anne-Marie Dixon. How you doing, Anne-Marie? Never been better. I bet. I bet. This is a pretty good time for you. Um, what are you going to do when you grow up? Do you know? Well, right now, I think I'm interested in photojournalism. In our house, we have had 50 years of National Geographic, and I'd be really interested in working with them. No kidding. Now, those guys travel a lot. They go to Africa and Antarctica and Madison County, I guess. Actually, I live in Madison County. Do you really? Yes. <laughs> made for this job. Right, right. Are you sure you're ready for that kind of lifestyle? Oh, I love traveling. I love traveling. I'm, I would like to go to Brazil, see the rainforest. I'd like to go to Africa, do the waterfalls. Now, I know quickly here, uh, you have a superstition about something good happening on pageant day. What is that? No, actually, opposite. If everything's a disaster, then usually it turns out okay. Do you have something bad happen today? Um, no, not today, but last night our power went out in the hotel for a few hours. Close enough. That qualifies. Okay, thanks a lot, Miss <laughs> Illinois and Marie Dixon. <laughs> Next, we have Miss California. She is Kelly Foster Moore. Go on, Kelly. Step right on over here. 17 years old, right, from Fresno, California? Yes, sir. What is the double last name? It, it Foster Moore, why is that? Well, see, I have two sets of parents, and I feel very fortunate for that. And I'm very close to both of my dads, and I wanted them both to be recognized, so I used both the last names. Well, I'll tell you what, if you come from a broken home, you've done just great. This young woman has had nothing but straight A's through every grade you've ever been in, right? Yes. That is amazing. Are you kidding me? Straight A's? So you're going to go to UCLA? Yes, I am, and I am very excited. I bet. They're probably thrilled to have you, too. Now, are you going to, you're going to live in a dorm? Yeah, oh, actually, I think I'm going to be living in an apartment with some friends. So oh, you do have some friends? That should be an adventure. Like who? Yeah, I have some friends. Yeah. <laughs> like the reigning Miss Teen USA right now, Shauna Gamble. That's what I heard. Yeah, she's yeah. from California as well, and we are going to be getting an apartment together this year. Oh, man, I can see the guys lining up at your <laughs> door already. Good luck, Miss California. Thanks a lot. Kelly Foster Moore. Now we have Miss Kentucky, Brittany Johnson. Hi, Brittany. Come on over here and have a seat here in the club. How are you? I am doing well, thank you. Oh, well, that's good. It is, isn't it, that we're both doing well. Uh, you were valedictorian, right? Yes, I was. I was valedictorian in my senior class. Now, so you're going to go on to college, I'm assuming? Yes, I'm going to the University of Kentucky, and I start in a couple of days, actually. Do you really? Yeah. Now, but, but you, weren't you also a, a winner of some modeling competition? Um, yes, just the week before I came here, I was in a convention in New York City, actually, and I won Junior um, Model of the Year in my division. So what are you going to, yeah, really. What, do you have to make a decision now between college and modeling? Um, no, not actually, because if I model, I plan on, I plan on moving and going to school in California. Oh, okay. Now, I know you listed in your bio, one of your hobbies is talking on the phone, right? Would you answer the question for me, what are you guys talking about on the phone all day? Well, we talk about everything, like what's been going on lately and who's doing what and just, you know, what friends going where and just everything, just a little bit of everything. I don't know that I know the answer even yet, even now, but thank you, Miss Kentucky, Brittany Johnson. Okay.
Next up, we have Miss Missouri, Melena Scantlin. Uh, how are you? Show. You are. It is kind of a talk show, sort of. We just kind of relax here in the club and see what happens. Um, do you have uh, summer plans here? Summer's almost over, actually. Well, I just got to get ready and prepare for that big senior year. Of uh, high school? High school. That's exactly right. Are you nervous about it? No, not at all. I'm looking very forward to my senior year. I mean, all the things I've got to look forward to. Senior week, you know, being the queen of the school, you know. Oh, really? You're the queen of the school? No, no. All uh, yeah. No, all the girls. All the senior girls are the oh, queens yeah. and all the senior boys are the kings. I got gotcha. you. Now, how do you, how do you normally spend your summers? Oh, you know, laying out, relaxing. I sleep all day. If you didn't hear that on the trip take, I, I can sleep all day. Stay up all night. Talk on the phone, you know. Yeah, we know what goes on on that conversation. What do you do when you're staying up all night? You can't, your parents don't let you stay out and roam the streets. Well, I've kept a journal, which I'm very glad. And I like to stay up at night and read what I've been doing lately, and because sometimes I forget. I'm like, what did I do last week? And then I go back and I read and I can remember, so that's right. great. Well, I think you'll remember what you're doing here tonight, right? Yeah, okay. definitely. Thanks a lot. Miss Missouri, that's Melania Scantlin. And now we have Miss Iowa. She is Chelsea Ridge. 15 year old Miss Iowa. Come on in here and sit down from Muscatine, Iowa. I was listening, we were talking about the, uh, the triptych at the beginning when all the girls introduced themselves. Did you really say that you're getting a tattoo? Yes, I want one of a sun around my belly button. <laughs> Anybody want to come up here and finish this conversation with her? I'm... My parents now... didn't know until now, but. Are you really going to do this? I want to. In, in Muscatine, we can't get it until we're 18, so I'll have to wait a while, but... What, there's a law against doing it? Well, you can't even have a parent's consent. Oh, really? You have to be 18 legally wow. to get one in Muscatine, so... You're really not the follow-the-crowd kind of girl, are you? I guess... I don't think you could say that. Yeah, I don't think so. Now, you come, you come from a musical family, right? That's right. My mother is a country singer. And, and you are a singer? Yes. Actually, I just sang karaoke the other night. Did you? Can you sing karaoke here without a karaoke machine? Uh, I think I... Real fast, real fast. Okay. okay. If I were you, I'd promise to live life for all it's worth. You take all that you've been given. Not bad. I hate to interrupt you, but you're out of time. Thanks a lot, Miss Iowa. That is Chelsea Ridge. And the last young woman in this first group is Miss Kansas, Keely Sue Sanders. Obviously very popular here tonight. Now, you are the only uh, Keely that I know except Keely Smith. Do you know the, the, the singer? <laughs> She's, she was a singer from before my time, but yeah, I've heard of her. Were you named after her? No, not necessarily. My parents had some friends that had a daughter named Keely, and they just liked the name. It's a beautiful name. I love that. Well, thank you. You should hear her music, too. It's really good. Now, I know you're, you're just graduated from high school. What's next? I'm going to college, and I leave tomorrow if everything goes right. You're leaving tomorrow? That's right. Have you packed? Semi. My mom did some packing for me while I was here. Pretty much just throw the sash in the suitcase and hit the road, huh? That's right. Well, good luck in college. It's going to be fun, huh? Yes, I'm very excited. All my friends are there, and they're all watching tonight, so I'm very excited. Okay, well, they're rooting for you. Thanks a lot, Miss Kansas. Keely Sue Sanders. That completes our first six interviews, and we will talk to our other semifinalists in a few moments. But first, just for our television audience, here's Maddie. Chatting it up with the girls here, Bob, and having so much fun. And you know, they say in pageants you really don't make great friends. Tell them who your best friend is. Keely Sanders, Miss Cam. <laughs> That's true, Melina Scantlin, Miss Missouri Teen. They've double dated and everything. Can you believe it? Great I'm job. Such a loser in the middle of these two. <laughs> but you sing well. You sing well. Thank you. I'll hit you guys up. Okay. Good job, girls. Thanks to all you three of you, too. Hey, you girls watching out there, do you think you can handle this with these little girls are doing here? Well, not little anymore. If you're between the ages of 15 and 26, watch for a special 800 number at the end of the show to get info on entering the Miss Teen USA or Miss USA state pageant. Right now, we've got to move out. We have six more interviews coming up, so stay tuned. I love 
this music. It's great. We're back live from Wichita, Kansas, Miss Teen USA 1995. We have with us the next six interviews, and we continue with Miss Florida, Karina Clark. How you doing, Karina? I'm doing very well. Good. Good. Now, I have heard that you want to be an astronaut. Is that right? I sure do. Um, I plan to go to Florida State University and major in science and engineering and be the first woman astronaut to walk on the moon. Now, where did this come from? Ever since I was yay high, I've always wanted to do this. I've just looked up at the stars, and actually, I used to think they were hanging there by a string. So I've studied into it, went to space camp, and did all sorts of stuff like that, and it's made me so interested in it, so now that's what I want to do. What fun. Now, you know, the Congress is talking about cutting back on funding for the space program. What do you feel about that? Well, actually, I feel that if we put a whole bunch of um, time and effort into it, maybe that we can build more up about it, that it'll cause more people to get interested in it and put more money forth to it. Okay, great. Well, thanks a lot, Karina Clark, Thank Miss you. Florida. <laughs> Next up, we have Miss Maine, Katie Asselton. Hi, Katie. How are you? Good. Come on, sit down. Now, you're from uh, Millbridge, Maine? Yes, I am. What kind of town is that? It's a very, very small town. It's right on the water. It's beautiful. How many people? Oh, my gosh. I think it changes to the season. About from 1,500 to 2,000. Oh, it's really small. It's very, very small. It's Mayberry-esque. <laughs> uh -huh. Just about. Is it good growing up in a place like that? Oh, I... I am so grateful for growing up in Millbridge because it was just so safe and secure. I didn't have to worry about going out at night or, you know, it was just the thought of being able to say hello to everyone you know and on the street is, it's great. Now, I know you're 16 years old. Are you driving yet? Do you have your license? Yes, I do. Was this dangerous? Slightly. <laughs> People moving out of town now, huh? Definitely. Wow. Okay, thanks a lot, Katie. Miss May and Katie Asselton. Next up is Don Renee Huey, Miss Delaware. Come on, Miss Delaware. Wow, you got something hanging there. That's nice. I like that. Looks good, doesn't it? Rather like a zebra. It is sort of zebra-ish. Yeah, yeah, sort of a sort of Beetlejuice too. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Now you were an A student, right? Yes, I was. Yeah, you going on to college? Yes, I'm going to North Carolina State in the fall, so I'll be a Southern girl. Southern girl. Now, was it, since you're an A student, you're going on to college. Is it easy to get a, uh, a scholarship? It is impossible to get a scholarship. I graduated second in my class, and I applied for scholarships everywhere. And I only received 2500 altogether. College tuition per year is 15000 And what really upsets me is that prisoners, at least in our state, can get Pell Grants and go to college for free. So it's kind of disheartening. You think, well, maybe I should just commit a crime. That way I can go to college and not worry about it. Well, you may want to kind of steer away from that, okay? Okay. Thanks a lot, Don. Miss Delaware, Don Renee Huey. Next from Minnesota, we have Michelle Borg. Hey, Michelle. Come on in, sit down. 18 years old, from Brainerd, Minnesota. Now, I, I was told that you've been dancing all your life, basically? I've been dancing since I was two, tap dancing. I mean, I mean is this really dancing that you're doing, or just kind of falling around? It's really dancing. I've been dancing since I was two, and I also teach dance. I'm a dance instructor. My whole life, it's been my dream to be a dance instructor. I've been an assistant for the past five years, and then this last year, my dance teacher gave me the opportunity to be the teacher and um, have an assistant myself. So. You just took up dancing at the age of two on your own, or did somebody tell you to do it? Um, I guess I always loved to, but I'm sure my mom probably made that decision for me when I was that age. Now, now uh, what are you going to do during the summer coming up? I mean, how have you been spending this summer? The summer? Yeah. Um, mostly getting ready for here. I also am speaking about abstinence, and um, I feel it's very important, and so I've been getting ready for that. Is it hard to persuade teens to do that? Um, yes. Um, my point that I want to get across is that um, um, it's not too late. If you've made the mistake, um, it's not too late, and you can start over. Okay. Thanks a lot, Miss Minnesota. That's Michelle Borg. Now, Miss Tennessee, Lynette Cole. Come on out, Lynette. Now, I, you are an interesting story. I love this because you come from a family of 131 people, right? Right. My parents were, have been foster parents for the fifth, first 15 years of my life. 
So we've had over 127 different foster sisters living with me and helping raise me. That's amazing. Now, there's been a lot of talk in the news lately that, you know, biological parents are coming back and taking their adopted children back. What do you think about that? I don't think that's right. Being adopted, I wouldn't want my birth mother coming in and disrupting my life that I've already established right now. And I just think it would be really hurting and it just cause a lot of confusion in my life in the future if she came back. Now, and Newt Gingrich is talking about uh, bringing orphanages back too. Is this a good idea, you think? I think it is. I want to become a child advocate attorney and help children that make sure that the decisions made in society and in the courtroom are made in the best interest of the children. So that's what I'd like to do. All right. Thanks a lot, Miss Tennessee Lynette Cole. And finally, Miss Utah, Lonnie Sorden. Come on, Utah. How are you? How are you, Bob? I'm doing just great. You come up from a big family, too, don't you? I do. There are ten children in my family. I'm the second to the youngest. Is this good? It's great. Yeah. I'm tough now. I've been beat up all my life, and <laughs> the boys don't mess with me. <laughs> you see, this is a good thing to get beaten up all your life. Well, I was beaten up all my life. I don't see it as a good thing. But uh, I know you're very close with your family. Didn't they give you like a good luck charm today? They did. I've been given all kinds of angels. They say that they're my friends. And I also have another good luck charm. I had a little sister pass away soon after she was born. And I've always felt like she was with me. Wow, that's sweet. Um, you're also a singer? I am. I love to sing. Can you sing real quick? I would love to. Can I stand up? I don't know, can we? Come on, okay, real fast. Does he love me? I want to know. How can I tell if he loves me so? Go, girlfriend! All right, Miss Utah, thank you very much. Lonnie Sorter. All right, well, thanks to all of our delegates. That completes the interview competition. Howdy. We all know Wichita's Wild West past, where legends like Wyatt Earp and Buffalo Bill Road and the spirit of Native Americans and pioneers lives on. Well, you won't find many kettle drives rolling through the streets today, but hoot and holler is alive and well, especially at the world's largest Western store. And Shufflers will award the new Miss Teen USA this limited edition autograph poster of Roy Rogers. Okay, we're into the cowgirl thing big time here. And now that we're all due to that, we have to saddle up and go dancing. Miss Teen USA receives $5,000 in a fabulous array of exclamation fragrance products from Cody. Exclamation lets you make a statement without saying a word. Exclamation, the official fragrance of tonight's pageant. Balin Artsy? Wichita has more than a dozen museums. This is the Wichita Art Museum, which showcases a wide-ranging collection of American art, like this current exhibition of Midwestern watercolorists. The most beautiful getaway place in town? This is it. It's the beautiful gardens of Botanica. Like my nails? Janelle awards our winner $7,000 in a year's supply of nail care products. Her nails will be forever lovely with Janelle's famous sculptured French Tips kit. The ultimate in beautiful nails made easy. For women on the go all over the world, it's Janelle. There's always something happening in Wichita, and right in the middle of it all is the Century 2 Convention Center. With events like the Miss Teen USA pageant and Family Fun Night, Wichita has always been a real family town. Investing in its young people with programs such as the Minority High School Research Apprenticeships and the Lynette Woodard Recreation Center and Wichita Boys and Girls Club. And when the sun goes down, this city knows how to party, wild or elegant. And speaking of elegant, tonight's winner takes home a queen's ransom of custom evening wear and accessories from the Crown Jewel Collection by Petals and Lace of Nashville, Tennessee. A $12,000 shopping spree at world-famous Flemington Furs, where she'll choose her favorite fine-quality furs, shearlings, cashmeres, and leathers, the very latest fashion. Awarded by Flemington Furs, Flemington, New Jersey. Lots more Wichita to see, so check in with us later. Thank you, Shauna. We'll do that. We'll stay with you. 
And you stay with us. We'll have all the interview scores and a major glam alert coming up. The evening gown competition right after this word from Secret Antiperspirant. Strong enough for a man, but pH balanced for a woman. Live from Wichita, Kansas, the 1995 Miss Teen USA pageant continues. Here again is Maddie Mom. Thank you. The interview scores are ready, so let's get to it. Wow! Look at this. Miss Utah came in first in the interview. She was last in the bathing suit. I guess that great voice really did it for her. Tennessee and Maine still in the top three. Neck and neck. It's going to be a tough one. Hey, if your fave is not leading, don't despair. Just remember that these scores are added to the swimsuit scores. And in a few minutes, combined with the evening gown scores to determine the top six girls who will go on to the finals. The lead can very easily change. Let's get back to Bob on stage. All right, we are here in the Century 2 Convention Center in Wichita. We want to take a moment to thank all of the people of this great city for their wonderful hospitality tonight and all week. Special thank you to Chairman of the Pageant Host Committee, Joe E. Boyd. Joe, thank you very much. And to his honor, the Mayor of Wichita, Mr. Bob Knight. And now all of our delegates return with a beautiful fashion parade to set the mood for the last of our semifinal events, the evening gown competition. As they wear gowns of their own choice, they will be serenaded by All for One. Ladies.
our semi-final competition. Thank you, delegates, and thank you very much, all for one. Wichita. I was so inspired, I changed too. What do you think? Now, here are the scores from the evening gown competition. Look at this. Whoa, Tennessee and Maine are still in the top three. Kansas moved up from number four in the interview to number three. This is going to be one of those neck and neck kind of things tonight. Now, remember that those scores are now being added to the scores from the swimsuit and interview competitions. And the top six delegates will go on to the finals. We'll find out who the six finalists are in a moment. But right now, Let's meet the young woman who knows exactly how it feels to go through all of this excitement. She's the reigning Miss Teen USA, Shauna Gamble. Hello. Hello. Look at how beautiful you are. This is stunning. What a gorgeous oh, gown. You always you. look great. Thank you. Do you remember this moment from last year? Oh my gosh, I do. I can't wait to see who made the finals. I can't either. Bob has the answers to those questions. Let's go to him. All right, ladies, here we go. We've added the scores from the three semifinal events. We now know the six delegates whom the judges have chosen to continue in the finals. I'll read these names in random order. Good luck. The first finalist for the title of Miss Teen USA 1995 is Miss Tennessee Lynette Cole. Miss Utah Lonnie Sorda. remain. One goes to Miss Delaware, Don Renee Huey. Only one more woman with a chance to become Miss Teen USA. She is Miss Illinois, Anne Marie Dixon. Six finalists for the title of Miss Teen USA 1995. They look so great. I feel like they're my little sisters. I know. Now, Shauna, the next one in competition is a tough one. The judges' questions. Any advice? Um, I just uh, tell them to be themselves, stay true to who they are, and just be real confident and don't let this get to them. It works for you. Oh, yeah. I couldn't handle this. We'll see if they can right after this. Stay tuned. <laughs> we'll return to the 1995 Miss Teen USA pageant right after this. Let's continue with our live show from Wichita. And ladies, in case you're not fired up enough as it is, it's now time to crank it up another notch. This is now the judges' questions. This round of competition is going to narrow the field to the final three delegates. Each of you is going to draw a judge's name from this bowl. You'll have 20 seconds to respond to that judge's question. And as they vote, the judges will see a video reminder of each of you competing earlier tonight so that their overall impression of you as well as your answer will determine the score. Ladies, I remind you also that all your previous scores up until this point, they're now erased. You're all starting on an even footing. So let's get started. We begin with Lynette Cole, Miss Tennessee. Come on, Lynette. Go ahead, select the judge's name out of the bowl. And you have gone with judge number eight. That is Clarence Gilliard. Your Hi, question. Lynette. How are you? If your school's curriculum included teachings that were not compatible with your faith, how would you handle it? Well, I go to a Christian school, so I'm fortunate enough that I have the same beliefs in my school because I'm a Christian and we have Bible in my school. But if I were to go to a school that did not have that, I think that I would have to do that on my own and worship on my own, and I would have to deal with the other criticisms of it not um, concerning being concerned with my faith. So I think I'm, I'm glad that I go to a Christian school so I can 
and continue to believe in my faith. All right, stay right where you are, Lynette. Let the judges lock in their scores. All right, thanks very much. Now, Miss Utah, Lonnie. Come on up. I'm doing well. Go ahead and grab one of the names out of here. Judge number nine, that is Lauren Sidney. Lauren, go ahead with your question, please. Miss Utah, first, congratulations. Secondly, there are some government officials that would like to place a V chip inside of everybody's television to censor violence and sexuality. What do you think about that? I think the V-chip would be very valuable to our homes. I believe that the home should be a sanctuary where you can go to get away from the rest of the world. And when the TV brings that into your home, there's nothing special about the home. So I, people say that the government is involving too much, and I believe that it's, it's a choice of whether or not you want to put the V-chip in your TV, so I'm all for it. Stay right where you are. The judge is voting on the suit Thank you very much, Lonnie. Now we bring out Miss Kansas, Keely Sue Sanders. Go ahead, Keely, grab a name. You have gone with judge number seven. That is Lisa Aiki. Lisa? Hello. All right, there is, um, there's controversy about distributing condoms in schools to prevent teenage pregnancy and AIDS. What do you think about that? I'm not real sure about it being distributed in schools, but I definitely think that they should be more accessible to teenagers because I believe that if you do decide to practice in that, that you should definitely be safe and you should not be afraid to go out and buy the proper things in order to be safe. I think that people should not be ashamed to protect themselves, basically. Thank you, Ms. Kansas. Don't go away. Okay, thank you very much, Keely. Now we bring out Katie Asselton, Miss Maine. Come on, Katie. Select a name, would you? Who'd you go with here? You went with judge number six. That is David Sedoni. David, your question for Katie, please. Hi, congratulations again. If your best friend flirted with your boyfriend, how would you handle it? Um, well, I hope that wouldn't happen, but first I think I would confront her because I value my friendships very greatly. And I think that is just betraying a friendship right there. And so I would first confront her and try and work things out. And then I would confront him and I would say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away, Katie. The judge is locking in their scores for that answer. OK, thanks very much, Ms. May. Now Ms. Delaware. Don Renee Hewitt, into the bowl you go, and out you come with judge number three, that is Lisa Santos. Lisa. Hi. Should unwed teenage mothers be allowed to collect welfare? Why or why not? I don't believe that unwed teenage mothers should be allowed to collect welfare. Um, we have such a big problem in today's society that... Um, We just have a, a big problem with welfare in today's society, and I think the people that actually do need the help aren't getting the help. Teenage mothers became pregnant because of lack of responsibility, and I feel that all teenagers as well as all adults should resp be responsible, so I don't think they should be able to collect on the welfare. All right, don't go away now, Don. Stay right where you are. Okay, Don, thanks very much. Finally, Miss Illinois. Anne Marie Dixon, go ahead. You're last. Let's see who you come up with. Don't hurt yourself now. Okay, judge number five, that is Allison Brown Young. Allison? Hi. What advice would you give to other teenage girls who are never satisfied with the way they look? To teenage girls that are never satisfied with the way they look? I believe that the inner self is the most important, and if you are beautiful on the inside, it will shine through. You need to get involved, be involved in your communities, in your schools, 
and I think that that will bring out the personalities and the out and become more outgoing. I, so I, I would tell them that they need to make sure that they get involved in everything that they can possibly do to bring out their inner beauty. All right. Don't go away, Emory. Judges are going to lock in their scores. All right. Back you go. Thank you very much, delegates. Very nicely done. And thank you to our judges, too. Good questions tonight. Well, there were a couple of tough moments for Miss Delaware, but that's what live TV is all about. But they were all really great because it's really intimidating up here. Look at this place. This is the Century 2 Convention Center. It's huge. It's scary. Ah, so who made up the final three? Think you know? We'll find out in a few seconds, so stay right where you are. We're back, and we are continuing our live show from the Century 2 Convention Center in Wichita, Kansas. It is time now to reveal the final three delegates whom the judges have chosen to continue in tonight's competition. Again, ladies, I'm going to read these names in random order. Good luck to all, all six of you. The first of our final three is Miss Maine, Katie Asselton. Miss Utah, Lonnie Sordon. Only one other young woman with a chance to become Miss Teen USA, and she is Miss Kansas PAC Sanders. There they are, one of these three lovely young ladies will be the new Miss Team USA. This crowd is going wild! And now, can you believe it? These three have one more round of competition, and it is totally nerve-wracking. The final question is coming up. You girls out there think you can deal with this kind of pressure? Well, if you do, and you're between the ages of 15 and 26, Check out the special 800 number at the end of the show and get all the info you need on entering the Miss Teen USA or Miss USA state pageants. Now, let's get back to the stage and see what happens. Okay, ladies, one last round. This is the final question. I'm going to ask each of you the same question. You'll have 20 seconds in which to answer it to make sure that Utah and Kansas don't get an unfair advantage here. As I ask Miss Maine, you two get to go back here in our soundproof booth. So go on back there, if you would, please. And come on, Katie, let's go out here. Make sure that they're all locked in. Okay, I'm going to ask you the question now, Katie. This is it. Good luck. How do you feel about the way that women are portrayed in contemporary songs and music videos? Um, well, mostly we're portrayed as sex symbols, which is really sad in our society today because I think we've passed that. And it seems like we've passed it in almost any, in every industry except for music. And although a lot of women artists have become very successful, we're still betrayed as a sex symbol. So. All righty, thank you very much. Katie, step right over here if you would, please. Now, Lonnie, come on out, Miss Utah. Come on out. You get the same question that Katie did, and that question is, how do you feel about the way women are portrayed in contemporary songs and music videos? I think it's a shame that we are lowered so much to be sex objects. We've got minds and we've got brains, and there are wonderful things we can do. And I just... I feel like women need to stand up for themselves and not let that happen to them because we are wonderful <laughs> and we need to stick up for ourselves and not be sex objects. Right. Thank you very much, Lonnie Sorden. Step over there, please, Miss Utah. Finally, Miss Kansas. Go on, Keely. All right, you get the same question the other two did. The question is this, how do you feel about the way that women are portrayed in contemporary songs and music videos? I think it depends on the type of music, quite honestly. And I think it depends on the artist. I think a lot of them portray them very well. And then again, I think in some cases, in some types of music, they're not portrayed so well. But I guess it's the woman's choice to be in the video or to be portrayed that way. All right, thank you very much. That's the thoughts of Miss Kansas. Thank you all, ladies. You are all terrific. And now, 
the most important vote that our judges will cast this evening. As each delegate steps forward, the judges will vote for her to be either the second runner-up, the first runner-up, or the new Miss Teen USA. I remind our audience and our judges now that this vote takes into consideration the answers to their final question, as well as your overall impression of that young woman this evening. So judges, right now you're choosing the woman who you think will make the best Miss Teen USA. We begin with Miss Maine. Miss Utah. And finally, Miss Kansas. Is it that completes our competition for the title of Miss Teen USA 1995? Good job, ladies. It is gonna be tough. Who's it gonna be? We'll find out when we come back. Hello again, Bob. Hello there. <laughs> Let's roll the final episode of our Wichita tour and see more of the great gifts the winner will take home along with her crowd tonight. Shauna? When the new Miss Teen USA is crowned in a few moments, it will be the go. Wichita is the place to catch your flight. Known as the air capital of the world, it is home to air manufacturers like Boeing and Learjet. How fast does this plane go? This airplane flies just under 600 miles an hour or 81% the speed of sound. Wichita is an ideal city for high-tech jobs with beautiful homes and great recreation. The girls are having a ball in their Jansen. And of course, you've got to do the do. And the official hair care brand for the pageant, Salon Selectives, awards $10,000 plus a year's supply of shampoo, conditioner, and styling products. Create your personalized combination from a range of precise levels and types to get hair with style. Is that for me or for my hair? Oh, Shauna, it's really you, and now we're going to help all the delegates get beautiful, shiny hair with style just like yours. The Salon Selectives Hair Clinic was conducted by stylists Damian Miano and Louis Viel. When Miss Teen USA is ready to hit the books, Botter College in Atlanta, Georgia offers an AA degree in business administration, fashion merchandising, fashion design, or interior design. A two-year scholarship with tuition, textbooks, and dorm. We've shown you all the great prizes that Miss Teen USA is going to take home tonight. But there's one more thing that goes along with this crown. Are you ready for this? $90,000 in cash. The moment's almost here. One of the final three will take it all home. Whoa! Oh, Matt, thanks for the tour, Shauna. Now, as we're about to crown the new Miss Teen USA, it's time to say thank you and farewell to Shauna in person. Please welcome, for the last time as Miss Teen USA, a charming young woman, Shauna Gamble. As I end my reign, I find myself reflecting on the serendipitous events that entitled me to a year of opportunity and growth. Immediately, I remember watching my first Miss Teen USA pageant and telling my parents I would like to wear that crown. I knew that the goals I needed to realize that dream were the same goals I would need to succeed in life. Excellence in education, respect for authority, love of family, and holding on to the values with which I was raised. I thank the people of my hometown, Acton, California, the Lions Club, the Miss Universe staff, my mentors, Kara Lee, Summer, Gail, and Uncle Ted, and especially my family. I would like to ask everyone watching to realize that our country is rich in young men and women with intelligence, strong work ethics, morals, and the spirit to succeed, and most importantly, that they need and deserve to be heard and recognized.
family and friends in California are especially proud of you. They sure are. And uh, should we make them wait any longer? What do are you, you kidding? Uh -oh. I know. I can't stand it either. This is it then. We're ready to re reveal the second and first runners up in the new Miss oh. Teen USA. The accounting firm of Ernst & Young has reviewed the results for accuracy. Mark Ward is here with a printout. Thank you very much, Mark. Appreciate it. You ready and to, to go? assist us, please welcome mm -hmm. two very beautiful young women who wear crowns of their own. The reigning Miss Universe from the USA, Chelsea Smith. <laughs> and the reigning Miss USA, Shayna Mokler. And now, the second runner-up is Miss Utah, Lonnie Sordon. All right, now, as we're about to reveal the name of the first runner-up in the new Miss Teen USA, we have to remind you of the importance of the first runner-up. It's critical here. Absolutely. If Miss Teen can't compete, complete her reign for any reason, then our first runner-up will become Miss Teen USA. In fact, that's just what happened to Chelsea and Shayna. You bet it was. Ladies, hang on. Here we go. The first runner-up is Miss Maine. Kaylee Sue Sanders, Miss Kansas. You're the new Miss Teen USA. Congratulations, the cash, the gifts are yours. And as you begin your reign as a role model for young women all over the United States, we congratulate you and we thank all 51 of our delegates who have set such a great example for young American teenagers. Now, please, Miss Kansas, now Miss Teen USA, enjoy it. It's your stage, Miss Teen USA 1995. Congratulations. Enjoy the throne. Sit down. Relax. You're the new queen. We invite you to join us in February for the 1996 Miss USA pageant in South Padre Island in Texas. On behalf of Maddie Monfort, Shauna Gamble, all for one, and the new Miss Teen USA, this is Bob Cohen saying thanks. Good night from Wichita. For information on the Miss Teen USA and Miss USA state pageants, call 1-800-222-9818. Portions of this program have been pre-recorded.